You can take your hand luggage on the bus okay. with you. Okay. And the rest of your stuff goes down here. Clinger, okay, depressed. What if Xana attacks while we're away? After a week of working day and night on the program, I think we deserve this weekend, don't you? It'll be the first time we go camping together, too. What program are you talking about, huh? Alita thought we should shore up the protection shields on the skid. We haven't tested it yet, though. You two are incredible, really. I mean, as if we didn't have enough homework for that. Delarobia, weren't you listening? You've got to store the suitcase. You said that carry-on was okay. Look, I'm carrying it, Jim. <sighs> Sissy, huh? what are you doing with all that stuff? It's my baggage, Jim. You were told to only take what was strictly necessary. Now get a move on and take all that junk back to your room. But Jim, my party dresses, my shoes, and all my makeup, I can't possibly go without them, and my hair dryer, too. Now listen, Elizabeth, this is a camping trip, and it's only two days. Your bicycle, too, should be left at home. Do you want me to tell the principal, my father, that sports activities are being discouraged on school trips? Uh, all right, but make it snappy now. Oh, you're kidding, Odd. What's wrong? How could I leave Kiwi in his room while we're getting fresh air? Speaking of being cooped up, Yumi got stuck with a test this weekend. Not one. I've got two tests today. You lucky dogs. I wish we were on that bus with you. I'd have loved to sneak you on, but we got a lucky dog already. You know who I'm talking about. Well, the torture session's about to start. I'll speak to you later. Thanks, Ulrich. Strap higher up. Seat belts weren't meant for puppy dogs. Huh? Mm, huh? Shh, quiet, Kiwi. Let them know you're here. Well, well, somebody looks very guilty. What do you got inside there? In there? Um, some things to keep with me on the trip, like. Mm hmm. Oh, imagine that! It must be that stray dog that everybody saw running around near the campus. He sneaked on the bus, I guess. You went and bought him a collar marked De La Robia. No, it's uh, just a coincidence. He must belong to a very distant cousin. There are plenty of Delarobias. It's a common name, like Morales or... Now get off. All animals are forbidden anywhere and everywhere on school grounds. Uh, that's great, because we're not at school now, are we, Jim? Don't try to be a wise guy with me, Delarobia. You've been caught red-handed. As soon as we get back, you have an appointment with the principal. Aww. Quiet, please. For this exam, all you need is a sharpened pencil and your logic and concentration. You're lucky. As a computer program, this math test should be a real piece of cake. What's a math test and a piece of cake? Hold it! Slow down! I told you not to keep him on a leash. Oh, yeah? What if he bit one of the other kids? What then? Here we are. This will be our home and our laboratory for the weekend. An unspoiled haven for all lovers of flora. A field trip to a true garden of Eden. In short, an ecosystem unequaled in the region. And you are looking right at it. What? That microscopic island is where we're going to camp? If you think that's small, wait until you see the rubber dinghies. No, you're I was afraid of this. I can't get a signal here. I won't be able to access the supercomputer. Don't worry. For the time being, I can still call out. I'll tell you. Rats, the factor of minus X was the right answer. Looks like I'm in for another lousy grade. Inferno here. Everything okay in paradise? Not really. Jeremy can't seem to get online. You're going to have to check regularly to see what's happening on Miyoko. You've got to be kidding. I've got a huge French test in five minutes and... Hello? Hello? Mm. That's it. I've been cut off. But I think she got my meaning. Are you sure? 
up, Yumi. Be right there. I've got to um, go to the bathroom. Remember to pitch your tents very carefully, because if you don't, the smallest gust of wind and poof, down it'll come. Actually, that reminds me of when I was living in a teepee in the desert near New Mexico. Jim, this might not be the right time. You don't know what you're missing, Suzanne. <clears throat> anyway, I want you all to read the instructions for the setting up of your tents before you start. If you don't want to find yourselves up the creek without a paddle, <laughs> now get going. <laughs> Do you know how to set this up? Yeah, sure, no problem. Follow the instructions and just holler if you need any help. But, thanks a lot. Look, honey, I thought maybe we could pitch our tents side by side so we can talk <sighs> together tonight. Uh, sorry, sissy, but I didn't come camping to gossip or talk about clothes. I'd rather sleep. Hey, sissy, well, I would be glad to set up my tent next to yours for tonight. Sure, Herb. Really? Oh, that's fabulous. Fantastic. I, uh, uh, by the way, where's your tent? Right there. Let me know when you set it up. There's nothing we can do. Without a connection, it's totally useless. Let's just hope that Xana doesn't take advantage of it. Relax, Jeremy. Yumi is watching the store at home. Okay, now let's see. The flower called the Campanula in Solaris can only survive on small islands such as this one, since it's protected from ruminants by a barrier of water. So, in your opinion, what would happen if the lake dried up? Uh, we would be able to walk home. <laughs> well, everything seems okay. No open window, no activated tower. I might even get higher than an F on my French test. No, well, I guess that's that. Still no connection. Are they on a desert island or what? The presence of so much Campanula in Solaris contributes in turn to the proliferation of a rare species of butterfly, as we will soon see here in the woods. I don't see what was so funny. I mean, what's the use of a boat if there isn't any more water? Hey, there's a lot of pollution in this lake. <laughs> He's in a state of shock, but he's breathing. There was this thing in the lake, it was black. It shot a lightning bolt at Nicholas and then he was gone. It must have been an electric eel. I've seen them before. When I was a forest ranger in Quebec. Jim, enough chatter. Make yourself useful and go get the first aid kit. Right away, Suzanne. <laughs> it wasn't an eel, it was much bigger, it was huge. Ma'am, I, I really think we're in great danger here. Now, now, don't worry, Jeremy. These things happen. Nicholas will be just fine. Stay where you are. Let me go check it out. Ah, the ambulance. Huh? Suzanne? Whoa, what is happening here? To do, Jeremy, answer, please. We absolutely have to find a way to get back to the factory. One step off the island means electrocution for sure. If we create a diversion, maybe one of us could get away. Okay, you and Ulrich do that while we try to get in touch with Yumi. If only we had an antenna. Okay, how big an antenna? Calm down now. I don't know what that thing in the lake is, but I can tell you that it had better watch it, because he's going to have to deal with me, and sparks will start flying, and that is, well, there already are sparks. Well, you know what I mean. Now, to begin with, we've got to help Mrs. Hertz. Suzanne. Suzanne. Say something, Suzanne. Oh, that's all we need! The lady! 
Kitty Killer! Jeremy! About time! Hey, listen, we're here playing Survivor with an aquatic monster that likes to electrocute anyone who comes close to the shore. Anything on your side? I'm totally helpless. The activated tower is really well protected, and the skid is in the process of losing most of its energy. Does it have many life points left? At the rate things are going with the ship, it's going to be over in no time. Listen, there's no other choice. Ready or not, we have to test the program. Yumi, do you have anything to write with? I'll dictate what you have to do. I ought to have a pen, since I've got a French test right now. Go on then, shoot. That's the first time I slugged someone without getting a reaction. You have to give her mouth to mouth. Yeah, mouth to mouth, of course. Uh... Jim, you come even a hair closer and it's the last thing you'll ever do on this earth. Understand? Hey, I cured her. Now, shift the energy of the lateral shield to the side under attack. The left one. Oh, no, no, the other left one. Jeremy, what are these commands? Are you sure it's going to work? She'll never make it on her own, Aelita. Jeremy, we're all set, but we need Aelita. Yumi, the others are trying to get to the factory. Okay. Until then, you'd better get things prepared for going to Lyoko. Okay. Feeling better? Yeah, obviously. Well, you've all been through an awful shock. Jim! All right. What's the matter now? Help me, Jim! It's my dog! He's in terrible danger! Mm -hmm. Only you can help me save that poor defenseless animal, Jim! Okay, I heard you. Don't overdo it now, Delarobia. Look over there! Huh? Oh, holy moly. How did that hound ever get into a mess like that? He was playing in the canoe and... A wind came up and carried him away. Oh, Jim, save my kiwi. Well, okay, but you stay right here, understand? Come to Uncle Jim. Come here, I said. You hairy hound, get over here. That's that's that sneaky Ulrich Stern. Come back immediately, will ya? Stern, I'm responsible for. Two on one. Guys. sold NASA issue astronaut space shoes. Smarter uh, just a little. See how fast I can pedal. There we go. Place needed a clean up.
I've got good news and bad news. The good news is that Ailita got through. My good news is that I finally managed to get connected to the supercomputer. The bad news is that our black muddy sludge monster is on the prowl. You can never beat us, Anna. You hear? You swear to keep our secret? I swear. Good answer, William. We can launch the program. You can still change your mind, William. Are you kidding? <laughs> take on Xana and his monsters. Why, of course! <laughs> the program's almost complete. Is this kid beyond hope? No, not yet. <laughs> William! <laughs> William, listen, it's me, Yumi! Feel proud of ourselves. Our program is operational. Yumi, how are you doing? Ailita, at last! <laughs> <laughs> I can't hold on much longer. <laughs> Give me time to set up a delayed self virtualization, and I'm there.
a second there, the real William came back, Alida. That means we'll bring him home someday. The electrical discharges are getting more intense. Given the enormous rate of ionization against the dispersion factor on the ground, they're going to reach a highly critical mass in, let's see, just about seven minutes. Meaning? In seven minutes, everything on this island is going to turn into one big barbecue. Ah! Benjamin Franklin, you think I little remember to program Return to the Past? Go on, Yumi. Return to the Past now. So I regenerated the shield by activating several towers for a few seconds at a time. That's what saved the skin. So that's what you've been doing while we were gone? What a fun weekend. Anyway, it's effective, isn't it? Obviously, it requires too much energy to be able to use it all of the time. Hey, how come you're so cool all of a sudden, Einstein? Xan attacks don't scare you anymore? They're still scary. But since he never makes the same mistake a second time, and since Aelita and I have been working non-stop for all of this week, we'd like a little, um... Okay, we get the picture. <laughs> hey, what'd you do with Kiwi this time? Well, let's say that I found him somebody who learned what a dog's life really means. Come on, Kiwi, hurry, I have to get to my exam. 